You don't wonder what it tells me. It says I should be afraid of you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the movie His House. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you like my reviews. It really helps others find the channel as I fight the darkness of the demonic algorithm. Now on to my review of His House. His House is a 2020 horror thriller film written and directed by Remy Weeks from a story by Felicity Evans and Toby Venables. It stars, and I'm going to try not to butcher this, it stars Wunmai Musaku, who is known for Luther and Lovecraft Country, among others, Sopi Durisu, known for the series Humans, and the movie The Huntsman's Winter War. Also, Matt Smith of The Crown and Doctor Who. The film tells the story of a refugee couple from South Sudan struggling to adjust to their new life in an English town that has an evil lurking beneath the surface. The film starts out like most horror stories, slow and simple, a refugee couple who lost their daughter on the tumultuous journey from Sudan to London. After staying in a detention center awaiting citizenship, they are finally awarded a house to live in. They move in and things start to go askew. Weird shit starts to happen. But the horror is not just the creepy house, but the terror of their past. They are both traumatized. The husband wants to move on, but the wife wants to leave the house and go back to Africa. She tells him a story about witches and he dismisses her. But he starts to see more ghosts and he can no longer deny it. He burns all their old clothes that they brought from Africa and buys all new clothes for him and his wife to look more like the regular English and to assimilate. He thinks his wife is going crazy with grief and loss, and she is just imagining things. He is right, but he is also very wrong. This movie has been compared to Jordan Peele's Get Out type of horror, and I fear that black horror will become its own genre. Even with the creepy ghost creatures and demon-like zombies, in my opinion, this movie is more a psychological thriller about the demons lurking inside of us all. The couple has gone through an immense amount of trauma throughout their lives during the war in Sudan and when they had to escape their home or be killed in the war, sacrifices were made during their journey in order to be free and make it across the sea to London horrible sacrifices that you don't know you would do until the choice is put in front of you. Because of this, they both had severe guilt that began to manifest itself once they were safely in their new government-provided home. The key is to adapt to their new environment and the government's role is to watch them and see if they can do that without turning to crime or being a disruptive part of the community. Yet they quickly realize that before they can move forward, they must first deal with the consequences of their actions and their past. Guilt and pain has a way of eating at you from the inside out unless you confront it head on. The movie does this in a more literal sense, though what is happening to the both of them is actually going on in their minds. The movie does not remind me of Jordan Peele outside of the fact that the characters are black. This horror film is more in line with Edgar Allan Poe and Stephen King, where the ghosts and demons are inside of you, and they never leave you, and they follow you wherever you go. You must ask the ghosts what do they want, and in doing so, you can work through the choices you have made in life, as well as the grief, loss, and pain that we all must deal with. You can't ignore it. You must go through it. If you cannot, then you will self-destruct. My love, she's gone. The sea took her. You're not listening. We survived. English. Listen to what you are saying. A she's dead. A Catch her. she spoke. We have grieved enough. Enough. There is no witch. 
This is a very intriguing movie that I very much enjoyed. It is definitely worth the watch. It makes you think about your own past, things you have done, and how you can come to grips with them. We all have things we are ashamed of. We all wish we were stronger and wiser people. That is why therapy is so crucial in life. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know. Have you seen this movie? What do you think of it? Were the ghosts real or just all in their heads? Please leave a comment below. I'm interested in your take. When you look into the darkness, what ghosts and demons are staring back at you? Thanks so much for watching and see you next time on The Movie Buffer.